Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about working with Windows 7. So this is our first chapter in class 6. First thing we are going to learn about what is this Windows 7. Okay. So in our third standard we have learned about the types of software. You remember the application software and system software. Here the system software is nothing but the software which is used to make your computer system to work. Okay. So here Windows is that kind of system software which is called operating system. Okay. So this is the logo of Windows operating system. So Windows 7 is an operating system developed by Microsoft and released on 22nd October 2009. This Windows 7 is released on 22nd October 2009 by Microsoft. It is from MS Microsoft company. Okay. So that's why all these Windows softwares are called MS Windows. Okay, the latest operating system released by Microsoft is Windows 10 on April 2017, right? So why are we using this Windows 7? It is user friendly. The person who are using the system feel easy to work on the computer when they are using Windows 7. That's why that's the reason we are using Windows 7. Okay, so next we are going to learn about the taskbar. What is a taskbar? Taskbar is a feature which allows quick access to the current running applications. And here is the taskbar. So a taskbar is a bar which is available at the bottom of the screen. Okay. So here at the left side, we have start button. And these are all called default applications, which are pinned in this taskbar automatically. Okay. The default applications which are pinned to the taskbar are Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, and Windows Media Player. Okay. And at the right side of the taskbar, we are having date and time. And here, the last one is called show desktop button. When we are clicking on this, how much our applications are open, how much our windows are open, everything will get minimized to this taskbar and you'll be directly taken to the desktop. Okay. Where it will go when we are minimizing, how can we access all those minimized Softwares, Windows can be accessed through this taskbar itself. So the thumbnail of those applications can be viewed here one by one or one after one to access it quickly. Okay, so that is the major feature of the taskbar, right? So next, we are moving on to libraries. What is a library? Libraries are used to manage files located at multiple locations in a computer. So here, just like a normal folder we can access any kind of files in the library okay the default categories of libraries are documents pictures videos and music so these are the default categories and if you want to add anything extra you can add it by yourself okay so that is user made but these are all these four are default categories okay and folders can be customized as both public and private. Read-only access can be provided to private folders for security reasons. And then here is how the library's folder look like. Okay. So we have music, documents, pictures and videos and these saved pictures and camera roll or extra things. So these are the default things. You can access any kind of files from the library. So the next option available here is Windows Media Player. So here is the logo of Windows Media Player. This, it is also from Microsoft, Microsoft Windows Media Player. So Windows Media Player organizes media files, both audio and video. Here the media file is nothing but both audio and video on a computer, just like your music player in your mobile phone. Okay. And here is how your media player look like. So you can just like your normal media player, you can create your own playlist, play button, next or forward previous or backward stop button repeat shuffle mode volume increase and decrease of volume okay so these are the options available here in media player okay it is compatible with new audio and video formats such as aac which is nothing but advanced audio coding which means it can play any kind of video it supports video formats used by ipad and zune also it provides a uh, new now playing mode where we can place the player to the side and do the other work in the computer at the same time. Okay. So that is the major use of media player. Okay. The latest version of Windows Media Player is Windows Media Player 12. 
and this is available in windows 7 windows 8.1 and even in windows 10. next we are going to see how to work with multiple windows in windows 7. most commonly we'll be using many windows on the screen at the same time so how can we bring all these together on the screen at a time though we have so many windows we can do only manually okay but by default you can create these options so windows provide an option to work with multiple windows at a time the taskbar provide three options so to access this you have to right click on the taskbar you'll be getting a pop-up list so in that you can find cascade windows show windows stack and show windows side by side okay so here is how that right clicking option will look like cascade windows show windows stack and show windows side by side Cascade windows will show all your opened windows one behind another. Show windows stacked will show all your opened windows one after another. I mean one by one. Show windows side by side. Show all these opened windows horizontally when show windows stacked shows your windows vertically. Okay, so that is the main difference between show windows stacked and side by side. So this will show horizontally and this will show the windows vertically okay so this is how you can work on multiple windows at a time in windows 7 next windows explorer windows explorer is an operating systems file and folder manager just like our mobile phone file manager file explorer we have with so many names okay so same here it is used to work with your file and folder manager the purpose of windows explorer is to view open copy copy is nothing but copy paste move is nothing but cut paste and manage the files and folders present on your computer so all the things whichever we wanted to work on the files and folders everything can be done using this windows explorer so to access this windows explorer you can use three ways one is you can double click on my computer icon which is present in the desktop the second way is click on windows button and letter e which is present in the keyboard together windows key and e key in your keyboard together when you're pressing on it you will be getting this windows explorer automatically third way to access this windows explorer is go to start menu and click on the my computer icon and the fourth way is the windows explorer icon which is present in the taskbar so in these ways you can access your windows explorer okay we have few sections in windows explorer navigation pan search computer details now i'll be showing you how this windows explorer is looking like here we have tabs with the ribbon and this is what called navigation pan which is used to navigate between the folders inside your system okay and here we have search box which is used to search a particular file or folder in your device and the last one is details which is available at the bottom of this windows explorer window which shows the details about the selected file or folder okay so these are all the sections of windows explorer the last one is recycle bin recycle bin is used to store the deleted files it, you are just moving the file from its folder to the recycle bin when you are deleting a file from a system okay so when you are deleting a file or folder from your device that will not get deleted permanently it will be stored in your recycle bin the files and folders inside the recycle bin can be renamed and whenever you want you can get it back so that is the use of recycle bin here we have two options inside the recycle bin one is restore option the other one is empty recycle bin option okay and this is the logo of recycle bin to access the recycle bin to see your deleted files just double click on the recycle bin icon which is present on the desktop okay and here we have two options as i said restore the items restore option and empty the recycle bin empty recycle bin option is used to delete all the files permanently even from your recycle bin once you did it you cannot retrieve any of your files back okay restore option you are using to retrieve your particular deleted file or folder okay the file will go to its original place from where you delete it that is what called restore option and here we have one more option which is called restore all items all the items inside your recycle bin will be restored will be retrieved will be taken back to its original folder from where you deleted it all the files okay so that is the use of restore all items okay so that's it by here our chapter is getting over hope you are clear 
Subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Happy learning.